last time that we met, we came up with a new, it's not a challenge, it's more of a, a, a topic. Uh, majority of the esports club wants to do another building, uh, team building. And so Anya and Sequoia both uh, volunteered to host Worlds. And they're going to do what Ethan and Tristan did. They're going to go on here whenever they can and say, I'll be on today from this time to this time. And they'll add a comment with their join code. And then if you're available and you're on Google Classroom and you see the join code, hop in there and uh, uh, start building or help. And the task for this time is rebuilding none other than Camp Cispis. And I put a picture on Google Classroom of, from Google Maps of an aerial view, satellite image of the camp. So you can kind of see where things are. And let's see. So this right here, this that I'm circling is uh, the dining area. That's where we had our meals. This was Birch. That's where the teachers were, all the adults. Um, this one was the boys' cabin. And this one was the girls' cabin. So boys here, girls here. That'll give you an idea for when you build um, where things are. And I think Columbia Heights were like here and here. They usually take these cabins. They were the fifth kids that were there with us. Um, yeah, and I don't know how much farther than that you want to build, but if you can get those bunk houses going, that would be cool. And there's the volleyball net right there that we played at every day. So that'll give you an idea of where things are in relation to each other. All right, here we are again for another check-in with the Chimicum Elementary eSports team. I'm coming to you live from Chimicum, where my eSports club members, Anya, Logan, Wesley, and Ethan, are working on the next uh, activity the eSports team chose to do. Last week we got together and they wanted to build, and they chose to build the camp that we went to last September, Camp Sispis. So Anya's hosting this world, and here they are. They started by building the first bunkhouse. So this is a uh, replica, not to scale, of a Sispis bunkhouse where the kids sleep. So one half of the bunkhouse would have about uh, enough beds for, I believe it's 14 kids. I don't remember if it was a half or if it was a quarter. Um, then the middle is where the bathrooms and showers were. And then the other half holds more kids. So, so far it needs a lot of work to be accurate. Um, but it's definitely a start. And with this, it gives the rest of the group an idea of what they're going to do. So that's all they have so far, but at least they have a flat area uh, to build. And I mean, this, this biome here is surrounded by water, but at least it's flat because the camp is flat, but it's in the middle of a huge national forest, the Gifford Pinchot National Forest. So uh, that part is not accurate. But if we switch now to have here is I've got a map with a satellite image of the camp. So they have a rough idea of where the bunkhouses are compared to each other. But first things first, they're going to have to uh, figure out 
how to make the bunkhouses more to scale and more accurate. So this one here next to those vehicles and the one on the other side is where the boys and the girls stayed. Boys were on uh, the left side and girls were on the right side. And then right across that little, what it is, it's a volleyball court, is where the teachers and the adults were. And then way across the big building is the dining room area. So I'm going to put more pictures of what the bunkhouse looked like in the middle and where each one was so that they have a, a, a much better idea of what they're making. Yeah, so the goal here is to recreate that camp. This tree is for Sispis, not for living in. Yeah, thank goodness, because... Uh, we're in the middle of a national forest, so definitely a lot of trees in that area. And a couple of the uh, eSports members are having a little fun here with this, uh, where is it, end crystal? I just learned about it today. And they're blowing it up. It's kind of fun. Yeah, it just launched me when I fell on it. That's a really cool thing. It's kind of uh, fun to get blown up by it. So that's where we're at today. Tuesday, June 9th. We've got two weeks left of the school year. Uh, I don't know if they're going to get done on time. Because it's hard to coordinate when we can all or when they can all uh, host a world and join a world. Those are the problems we're dealing with, with being quarantined and working at home. So maybe they'll be able to continue this over the summer, and I'll be able to continue checking in with them and posting these updates on our Twitch channel. But with that, this was just a quick check-in, see how they're doing. Uh, Everything's looking great. They're having fun. Hopefully they get a little building done today. But this is Mr. Gonzalez from Chimicum Esports signing out.